Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued let's play the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. My name is of Pluckless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today we do the last things that we kind of want to do before we start our redemption run. There, there's a couple small things here and there that I want to check out, something that Jonathan mentioned or Arthas mentioned. You, you guys all mentioned like great things, both of y'all, um, and everyone else. But before we begin the redemption run, th there's a limited time for us to do some of this stuff because once I start the redemption run, I have to use the data from the redemption run, which means some of these things may not be available. I, I don't imagine this is going to be a long video today. This is probably going to be a lot shorter, but I, I do want to make one final video before we start the redemption run. So we're here at the start of chapter 13, The Furnace. Murder Mill. Goal this time, do nothing. No, no. It's crushing his her face with a foot. Storm just literally destroys two people in a period of like five seconds. God, that death is just insane. Oh Lord. We just fixed the generator and we are heading down. And I think I know what happens if I go along with Augustine. I want to know what happens if we resist going with her. So basically, we, we don't shoot her, but don't agree with her. What happens then? You had a clear shot. I wonder why you didn't take it. I am gonna beat that thing. And then I'm gonna beat you. Beat? The only thing you could win is your extended survival. But death always beats time in the end. Then I better make it count. Oh, we don't even get the chance to uh, decide with her. Interesting. Here comes the Kool-Aid man. There's gotta be someone who made a mod on the PC where they made mod him into the Kool-Aid man. Okay, so now what do I want to do that's different? How will we flee from Sam?
I'm also interested if one person does survive when we see the final if uh, Chris will be there Okay, here's Sam We saw the gun, but I don't know if we can shoot so flee It's probably gonna kill us instantly So does that like completely free her? I already killed you once, Frank, and I'll do it again if I get the chance. Well, the game just like froze there. What happens if two people leave the mansion? Nah, let's not test. Well, let's not test that. Oh my God! I kind of want to see what happens if everyone escapes until the the redemption run. But we can do a Linda escape only here because I really want to see if Chris is in the recording. Because the way I did this is I recorded first Chris dying and then went to the cutting room floor. Does the game update or do you have to play all the way through from that point Frank to the end? Stone is finally the man he was meant to be. My champion. A killer worthy of well, We have empty. seen Sam get sacrificed, so let's just uh open, split apart let's just jump to the end with Linda. And violent. <laughs> Fucking hell. Car never worked. I mean, my question is, if you went to the car, and you had the keys to open the car, how would you start the car? Anyway. This is not a movie. This is not a movie. This is real life. You're the director. You're in control. Ah! Oh. So fucking act like it. <laughs> I love that line. You're the director of your own life. Take control. Sure. Go toward the light. Why not? Well, why not? So, did the game save Chris Dine? Am I losing my mind here? Or is that... Are we sure this is a good idea? Nope, no. it did not save it. But it's the only way to know for certain. And we have to know, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a shame. It would have been a lot nicer if we could jump back to any point and then just change something and then go to the future and have that thing change. But I understand why you can't do that because there's a lot of things that do this change, isn't what but happened. this is different. <laughs> It's in there, all right. This isn't what happened. Oh, shit. Uh, Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, what do we do with it now? We, um, we cut it up. We each take a piece and keep them as far apart from each other as we possibly can. And we never let them come back together again. I was trying to see what you could do in the, uh, the scene there. So she says this is different. So she's from a different time than they are. Right? So I think to just take Chris through system. time, it took her through a different dimension. Why can't we just burn the film? If the film strip is somehow trapping that thing inside of it, I'm worried destroying the film altogether might just set it free. I know this sounds like a pretty extreme precaution, but I think it's what my dad would have done if you were still here. We can't let it hurt anyone else. That's the bottom line. Agreed. Best laid plans. Hmm. Mice and men.
So I guess we just go on living like nothing ever happened. There are going to be a lot of questions. And we've got nothing to say to anyone asking. I think that's the last one. I awake, unsure where I am. Then memory floods back and I know. Our world is gone. Consumed by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks to me. Excuse me? Hey, I, I need help. Hello? Can you hear me? I am curious what happens if you bring more than one person to campfire. But I think that's going to be my anti redemption run. Something's coming. We can't stay here. Isn't it coming after us? Why is it just waiting there? What is going on? Whether killing or surviving, the entity will play with our souls for all eternity. You can't leave me like this, please! I, I figure we should end our ruthless failure run with probably the most ruthless death that we didn't Fuck get a chance too. to really see because of some graphical issues. Yeah, this is gonna be brutal. Did you hear that, uh... Uh-huh. All paths must cross. Oh, that looks totally different from before. Oh my god. All her skin is gone. Horrifying. That is absolutely horrifying. Jeez. Uh, now it makes sense about going backwards like the, the trophy I got. Because her body was literally flipped backwards. Oh, girl. Oh, that's got to be one of the most gruesome deaths in uh, Supermassive history. Well, my friends, my name is The Flightless Bird. This is your Story Based Gaming Channel. And this is really our, our final hurrah. In our ruthless failure run yeah this video is really short shorter than normal but there are some loose ends i want to tie up 
uh, before we start our redemption run. And that's coming next. A full run where we try to make all the best possible choices. Now, I, I don't know what the best possible choices are. I, I don't really have a clue on the best way to navigate. I, I, if you have some suggestions, non-spoilery suggestions, on what to do to try to get me to that ultimate goal, that would be great. I mean, this is, what, like multiple videos into the series, and we've done multiple games, and we've done multiple runs, We've done multiple sub runs, so it's not like I don't know what's coming. But at the same time, there is always that thing where you don't really know what's coming sometimes. Like, you know what the angle is, but the, the journey along the way is important. And figuring out the things that you didn't know before is really, really cool. And it's what makes it's what makes the super massive game so great. The fact that you could see a line of dialogue that you never saw before just because of a minor choice you made somewhere else. It's its just wonderful. Come join me then. It's going to be fun. And oh, one more thing. Before I say until next time, we will be trying to get all the collectibles as well. So if anyone has a, um, a list of all the collectibles and how to get them all to make sure we get them all, that would be great. Because normally I don't do that. But I think in this game... This game, getting all the uh, the collections, is it, it, it adds lore to the game. So it's something I really want to do. All right. Now I could say, hope you guys have a wonderful, amazing, fantastic day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.